Here's a quick video review on building a barn door pantry. I use these Anna White plans which are usually fairly comprehensive and easy to follow. However, if you are going to use the measurements in the drawings, the first thing I'd recommend is to make sure that you have a sufficient space to build it, move it, and locate it. I built this in my garage workshop, but I had to move it onto my driveway so that I had sufficient space to work on it. Shelving and face frame are common grade one by stock. I ripped down and used three quarter inch plywood for outer and middle panels. Initially, I only used pocket holes for the shelves and fit the face frame on the front without gluing up the various parts. Then I primed all the surfaces and turned my attention to the barn door. I built the door out of half inch plywood with one buys for its frame. Then I had to take the whole thing apart and move it to my son and daughter-in-law's garage where we reconstructed it, this time with a glue up and pocket screws. This could be a freestanding piece, but I installed a back plate on the inside of the top shelf which we use for attaching the pantry to the wall. We use the heavy duty barn door hardware as shown in one of the Anna White videos for the door, but you may find that you'll have to employ threaded bolts and nuts to attach it to the top face frame instead of the carriage bolts that come with the kit sold at certain home centers. To create the eye popping final detail for the door, we use eighth inch beadboard and a quarter inch middle rail 